Hi, I'm Austin Ryder, and we're at North Dakota State College of Science in Wapton, North Dakota. And we're going to be showing you how to make quick and easy duck fajitas. So, you need yourself some duck. You know, since it's kind of in the name, it's kind of the main ingredient. This was shot today by me and some of my colleagues. So you're gonna take your you're gonna take your duck. Probably should wash the feathers off first, you know. You probably don't want to be eating those. Gotta clean it up a little bit. So you're gonna want to cut these. Uh, I'm not super particular. You just cut them into however size pieces you want against the grain with the grain, don't matter. You're not cooking for Gordon Ramsay. Just cut them up in like pieces like a bowl like that. I don't know how big that is in measurement terms, but yeah, that big. We got an actual fillet knife now, so we can actually cut it sharper than that steak knife that was duller than a butter knife. So, you can actually cut stuff now. Where is why you crying? Sometimes stuff just gets emotional in the kitchen. I don't know I was yelling at him. Yeah, I snapped. Our chef is the worst. He's so mean. You don't, you don't even need any more. Okay, where's the frying pan? Jack, we don't have a frying pan down here. I have, I have a pan up there. There's a frying pan. There's not a single frying pan. Yeah, it's, they're gone. The frying pan's disappeared. So we got some butter melted in the uh, pan or pot, I guess. Now we're going to throw the duck in there. The peppers, we just kind of gave it a little slice, slice, and then the onions, we just we'll give it dice, dice, you know. Well, we diced some dice. onions, because, you know, some people like to put onions on their tacos, and then the onions that we're going to saute in the pan, we just kind of cut the long way, because that's just how I've seen it in, on TV, so. Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, that's, that's how we're going to do it. So then I'm cooking this duck, now these duck cubes, at high heat right now. Um, I don't know, the stove's not very good, so if I was doing it at home, probably medium, medium high. Just trying to get it browned, uh, like you would like regular um, hamburger when you're trying to make taco meat or anything. I'm just trying to get browned enough, just cooked. So. So this duck that I'm cooking right now is actually from our previous video, so if you haven't watched that yet, be sure to check that out. We have three teal in here and then one canvas back in here that we shot in a previous video so it's fresh like shot today doesn't get fresher than this so right now I'm looking to see how done the duck is it's not quite there I can see it's really really um it has quite a bit of give into it yet where it feels pretty spongy when I touch it um I'm looking for it to be pretty firm this one's almost ready um where like when I touch it, there's not too much give to it, but just a just a little bit, so I know that's um, done. And then I'm gonna take the meat out and put the vegetables in, and then I'm gonna saute the vegetables in the meat juices to kind of I don't know get some flavors going. Just set it off to the side for now because I'm gonna have to put it back in there. So right now I have the um, onions and peppers sauteing in the meat juices. Just waiting for these to soften up a little bit. And um, the onions to turn translucent and then I'll add the meat back to it and then I'll add the seasoning mix. So I added a quarter cup of water and I had just added the duck back to the saucepan and then I added the seasoning packet to the mixture. And then we're trying to um, reduce the water so that the, it thickens I guess on medium high heat. So here we got the final product and we're putting in our serving dish here. So. Ay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Buddy didn't even shoot any of the ducks. <laughs> I actually, I did not shoot any of these ducks. Okay, so we have the final product here. Now we're gonna taste test. <laughs> final product that Jack made. So. <laughs> and fired nine times and I only hit one duck. <laughs> I fired a lot more than nine times. <laughs> Austin definitely killed every duck. Actually, technically, I hit a duck three times, but it was the same duck. <laughs> so now the assembly. Take a little bit of your fajita mix. Then make sure you get all the peppers and onions in there, as well as some duck. And now you want to take. <laughs> This might be the most college cookie video I've ever seen. So take a little bit of your lettuce. Yeah, you throw your lettuce on there. Make sure you get it, make sure you get good. Now you gotta take your cheese. You gotta get the you gotta get the Mexican taco bun. That's the important stuff to get. Because it has extra seasonings. It makes it more flavorful. And then now to top it off. A little bit of taco sauce. And boom, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Just like that, we got a pretty simple, pretty easy duck fajita. Taste test. Taste test. <laughs> Solid. Look at the camera. Nine out of ten. Just missing all the sour cream, you know. Okay, you guys gotta eat now. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to a campus waterfall and uh, like the video. And I'll see you around. That was professional. And I actually want to.